Who is she? Usual story, sir. Street walker. I think she had a patch a couple of blocks down. No fixed abode. I'm afraid she's not a very pretty sight. I've tried to get hold of missing persons, but it seems as if we can't get a problem. <laughs> Oh, I've <laughs> never seen a dead body before. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the boys in blue are here. <laughs> Don't worry, lads, you'll get used to it. Rolls and uh, a couple of cherry tarts, please. Sorry, I'm new. <laughs> Jeff! Jeff! Would you come out here a minute, please? Something about some rolls? <laughs> it's my delight on a Friday night in the season over the Andrews. year. Andrews, Andrews. Andrews, would you mind awfully? Would you mind awfully not doing that? <laughs> what? Um, uh, might be nice if we just enjoyed the silence for a while and alone with our thoughts, so to speak. Yes. I, I was just thinking I, I might try and lift our spirits up a little bit. I thought perhaps if we put a brave face on things, the guards might lose heart and uh, give in, sort of thing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, quite. Hand over the keys. Send us home. <laughs> yes, of course, it, it just... Perhaps you might remember the last time you... P put a brave face on things, they t t took me out into the shed and tortured me. <laughs> Precisely, you see, we had them worried, running scared. Just the same, I'd, I'd really rather you kept the noise down. Um, just for a little while. Yes, all right, good, uh, good idea, good idea. Well then, down Crawley. <laughs> I'm sorry? <laughs> just the ticket. <laughs> Terribly simple and shockingly good fun. Never played it, down Crawley, no. No, no, I can't say I have. Ah, we used to play it on the Dover trade all the way down from Kilmarnock. The hours used to fly by. <laughs> Invented by my cousin Sticky. Never meet him, Sticky. No, no. no. <laughs> Bit of a family boffin, old Sticky. Yes. Well, you'll pick it up as we go along. I say something like, um, Mulberry Bush. And you then could say, uh, Shepherd's Bush. No, that's not... Yes, that's what, that's what. <laughs> you could then say Shepherd's Bush, because then I could say Shepherd's Pie. Do you see? Yes, yes, all, all right. So, so one player... The first player begins with a two-word phrase. Mm. The second player has to form a new phrase mm. replacing one of the words, and the word which is replaced alternates between the first word and the second word. Oh, God, no. That sounds frightfully complicated. No, no. <laughs> Basically, the first player says something, and then the second player says something else. <laughs> and, and so on, do you see, until one of us says, down Crawley, and that's the end of the game. <laughs> right. OK, here we go. Um... Peas cod. Down crawling. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, that's rather knocked the wind out of my sails. <laughs> uh, well, beginner's luck and all that. Uh, so you, you, you start this time. Down crawling. <laughs> I can see you're going to be a tough one to beat. <laughs> I go, I go. Um, yes, peas cod. Oh, no, I've already done that. Um, well, hang on, don't, don't push me, don't push me. Um, change my mind. Let's have a sing song after all. With any luck, I'll be in the shed before I know what's hit me. It's my delight on a Friday night in the season of the year. Hey! All right, mate. I'm just outside. All right. I've got the van outside. The delivery. The bread. 
No. no, I don't think that's us. Uh, try next door. No, it won't be us. Breaking and entering, robbery, theft, taking without owner's consent, thievery, having stuff away, whatever you call it, it amounts to the same thing. Broken homes, broken lives, and a hell of a buzz and a quick buck for the villain who doesn't mind doing this. <laughs> That high-pitched sound is the sound, not of the man working on the chain gang, but of the domestic burglar alarm. The first line of defence in any home security. Sadly, in three out of five cases, it's completely useless. Maybe even four out of five. <laughs> Let's see if I can make money out of misery. <laughs> well, I'm now in the front room. Where I'm uh, quite openly nicking stuff. I've got to be quick to avoid detection. Bloody cow. I'm very quick to avoid detection. That tranquilizer dart isn't going to keep the housekeeper down for long. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's going to be hard to shift. <laughs> Come on, final humiliating gesture. <laughs> photograph of my bare ass, <laughs> and no one is trying to stop me. <laughs> so you have to let eye on that one. <laughs> <笑>ちょっと我慢まんねえまんな。ちょっと、ちょっと。うん。だ、ちょ、か、よさんさ、そう。だ。よ、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、もう、も
until you're forced to think Hell, maybe I'm just going crazy I pick up my cup of coffee and I drink it to the dregs Drink it to the dregs Chilson If you spread your wings You'll learn to fly Chilson They keep you cooked up like a chicken Cooked up like a chicken You'll make a suicide There's a man in a rock and roll band Yeah, 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 yeah Who's made to sack his brother <laughs> Musical direction is a big consideration As important as any other You know, somehow I guess you knew that joke Ain't it funny how there ain't so many songs In the repertoire That need a keyboard <laughs> and one little jump into a reservoir Takes another young wife On the eastern seaboard mm, They had to drain it to the tricks <laughs> Till soon If you spread your wings you learn to fly They keep you cooped up like a chicken. Cooped up like a chicken. <laughs> you lose your feathers. Make a suicide. <laughs> Jill said, you, you can fly away. Mmm, Jilson, you can fly like a chicken. <laughs> like a chicken. <laughs> Make a suicide. Don't applause. Don't applause. Just buy it. <laughs> Hello, can I have... No. Brian, look, hear us out on this. Just hear me out, all right? How's about this? You and me, and you and Tony, we put such redundancy together, and we open our own chuffing steel looks. Tony, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that Elvis. I mean, obviously, we're all Elvis, but I'm in a Hawaiian I'm in a fair weather Elvis. I, I think what you want to do, Damien, what you want to do, right, is yeah. maybe <laughs> kick it and then. <laughs> Yeah, one of them, and it's from just, just not happy with it. And that's something which the Elvises learnt very much to their cost. A fatal complacency set in during the secondary phase of battle. Yeah, well, I think by, the time, by the time we've amassed all the ranks, it's going to be about 1500, so let's just make it then, shall we? Okay. Right, soldier, soldier, you're in the wrong division. Can you see the man at the top of the hill over there? Uh-huh. Give us a wave, Terry. Can you go over and see him, please, to join his ranks? That'd be a great help. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Okay, listen up. Right, we're going to have a good day today, we're going to enjoy ourselves, but we're going to keep our minds on safety and we're going to listen at all times to the commands of our rank leader. OK, come back, Pikeman. Yeah. We're going in five minutes' time. You're not ready in five minutes' time. You're not going. Jailhouse. Obviously, you're not going to be needed until 1545, so if you want to grab a cheeseburger, do it now. Hawaiians, please keep your minds on the job. Those crossbows are dangerous. Let's play safe. OK, everybody OK? Oh! Let's go! The Elvis army far outnumbered the Golden Jackson army. But you see, 
They were just expecting Cowley from the professionals. And Cowley from the professionals we gave them. However, just as the Vegas comeback pikemen were beginning to turn the field, we brought out a full division of Mr. Hudson's out of upstairs downstairs. <laughs> the rest was a foregone conclusion. <laughs> There is a moral to be drawn from this, it is quite simply, always study the back catalogue of an actor before you engage him in open conflict. <laughs> Special Detective Mike Parsons. Detective Sergeant in Charge of Crime, Jack Lampkin. Parsons and Lampkin. And Lampkin's mate, Steve. That's a rather tasty looking chopper. That's what she said last night. <laughs> about my cock. Sorry. <laughs> Ten four. Yeah, African Queen has landed. Okay. I trust you had a pleasant flight, Madam President. Very pleasant, thank you. When we arrive at the hotel, we'll keep you in the kitchens while we do a final sweep on your room, and we'll take you up in the service elevator out of sight. I understand. You'll be staying in the room until we take you to the conference tomorrow. Once again, you'll be smuggled in the back way. No one's going to know you're there till you're safely on the plane back home. Thank you. But you must understand that the pain of my death would be as nothing to the suffering already felt by my people. Yet I know in my heart that if I live, I may change all of that. You married? <laughs> so what did this Madam President do then? She's the president of Malawi, you know, yeah. in Africa. Um, she's here for that UN conference thing. Oh, that's cool. Well, she's a president and her name's President. <laughs> but it's Mr. Baker the bread man, or um, that bloke at school, Mr. Teacher, you remember? <laughs> boys, boys. <laughs> um, no, 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 not really, Steve. Uh, it's just, um, that's just a title, you know, what we call it, can't we? It's tasty. Yeah, lovely, yeah. I would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi there, Parsons. Lampkin here. Yeah, we're all set. Okay, then. I'll get stationed in the corridor. Tell Sunray we're ready to have her up here. <laughs> you dirty dog. <laughs> Steve, I've got to go because she's on the way up, so... Yeah, we're travelling. Yep, she's right here. In here, please. It's, uh, it's all been thoroughly checked, and it's as clean as a whistle. You'll be safe as houses in here, Madam President. I thank you, gentlemen. Malabi owes you a debt of gratitude. Oh, please, Madam President. We're only doing our job. <laughs> Better. I'd um, give it a couple of minutes if I were you. And at that point, I, I go into the shower if it works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sure. Oh, sorry, it's me. Um, hello, room service. Is this room ready for cleaning? Hi. Hi. 
Hi. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, oh yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, that's so good, yes. <laughs> okay, very good. Uh, Martina Entis, uh, she is wet from the shower. Hi. 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 Ja, ja is grosser, ja. Yes. Ja. Yes. Ja. Ja, yes. Ja. Yes. Yes. Ja, 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 ik kom, ik kom. Ik kom. Yes. 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 Ja. Ja. Yes. Excellent. Well, kids, I think this is going to be very good. Michael, just a quick word. Sure. Um, I've just had sex with a pool attendant. Yep. Um, is it really likely that I'd then come out of the shower and... I mean, I've never even seen this room service guy, um... Big, Peter, big. before. Mm. Um, I'm finding it very hard to know what to play here. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm not sure it's completely believable. <laughs> I think you're confusing Monet with Manet. Oh, yeah? How so, wise guy? Because Monet did the lilies. I know, I've seen them. They're in the Tuileries Gardens in France. They got a fucking picture in a fucking garden? No, they don't. You're right. You know, Jesus, you should do more fucking research from the fucking Paris tourist books you don't fucking write. They got a picture in a fucking museum in a fucking garden. Well, excuse my ignorance, please. Monet's the lilies guy. Manet did, I don't know, he painted fucking... He painted fucking... Peasants in the hay. I don't know. Fuck it. Is that a fucking 38? No, it isn't. It's a fucking 38. Like, what the fuck? I want to do a bit of interior fucking design. You know, I gather, you know, a, a, an open plan office is better for the fucking working environment. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Would you be so kind as to escort me to the fucking deposit box? Um, sorry. Uh, I knew. I'm going to be along in a minute. working in a bakery yesterday. <laughs> Armstrong and Miller return next Monday night at the later time of five past eleven. life insurance policy, but I don't understand the small print. All I know is that after I die, I can stop paying. Thank you, Dave. Could you do it with a hat now, please? I've got a new life insurance policy, but I don't understand the small print. All I know is that after I die, I can stop paying. What do you think? See, I preferred it with a pipe, you know, at least that way he had um, something to do with his hands. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's, you know, telling a joke wearing somebody else's hat. I think it's him. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>